everyone in this video we are going to learn how we can connect two different network okay so let me take some switch here if you see i have one switch here i have another switch here you can see here i have some machine here okay some machines are here now what we will do we will connect this machine to this computer same thing we will do here also now i am using this connect i connected this switch so now i am going to use the different network i am going to use here like 192.168.10.1 .1, okay i am putting this label to this machine i will go here i will assign this ip here and gateway we don't have anything but i will put 192.168.10.100 we will use 10.100 as a gateway so this pc we will put the label as 10.2 okay so i will assign the ip to this computer as 10.2 and gateway as we told we are going to take 100 so i will put the 100 so this is a one network here we are going to use different networks so here what i am going to do i am going to use 20.1 okay 20.1 will be this site network and i am going to put here the gateway as 20.100 so this is a gateway here now this pc i will give as 10.2 20.2 i am going to assign the ip here if you see here I have assigned the IP gateway I am going to put 20.100 so now this one is good this PC can communicate here if you see here this PC can communicate from here to here this PC can communicate from here to here but this PC will not communicate here 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 why they cannot communicate because they are using different network if you see I am using slash 24 okay slash 24 for all this one slash 24 here also slash 24 so they are different network if you see here i will write 192.168.10.1 i am using slash 24 slash 24 is nothing but 255.255.255.0 so wherever you have 255 that will be network portion wherever you have zero that will be the host portion so this three power three block should be same so if you see this three block is same this if, uh, this pc this pc ip three block is same so no problem they can communicate but here if you see this three block and this three block at last block you have 20 here 10 is here so this pc cannot communicate to this pc same thing this pc cannot communicate to this pc same thing this pc cannot communicate to this pc this pc cannot communicate to this pc because they are having the two different network we can say two network two different we can say two different network we are using so what we can say how we can fix to fix this one we need to use the router in between so with the help of router we can make the communication between two different network so first of all i will try to ping and show you it will not work so i am going to communicate from pc this pc to this pc it will work so how we can ping i will write ping 192.168.10.2 so it is working no issue after that i am going to ping from 20.1 20.1 is not going to work and 20.2 is also not going to work so i wrote 20.2 here this one it is not working okay if you see i am pinging from here request timeout is coming because they are in different network it should not work you need to use the what we can say router to make the communication between different network so we need to use the router in between to make the communication so it is not working 20.2 is also not working from this computer to this computer and if i do from this computer to 20.1 also it will also not work because they are in the different network if you want i will show you see it is also not working it will not work if you wait and check also it will not work because they are in the different network so what we need to do to fix this issue we need to use the router to fix this issue so what i will do if you see request timeout it is not working so what we can do here i will take the router uh, okay here and what i can do i can remove this cable from here to here i will take this automatic cable i am going to connect the cable from this switch to this router okay and i am going to take the cable from this switch to this switch to this router now we can say i have the router router is a device which is used to make the communication between different network you can say router 0 you can give any name i am using the router 0 here i will put 192.168.1.100 as we told we are going to use the gateway gateway ip is nothing but the interface ip 
whatever interface you have here we need to assign this ip and that ip we are using as a gateway in the machine interface we cannot see so what i will do i will go here in the preference i will enable always show the port so now you can see this is a port fast ethernet 0 by 0 i am going to use this ip to that interface so we will assign this site network we are going to assign this ip as a gateway here if you see we are going to put here 20 dot 100 and here i will put not 10 dot 100 here i will put uh, not 1 dot 100 here 10 dot 100 here 20 dot 100 then it will start working okay so what i will do i will start i ping here right so what i will do i will put here ping dash t hyphen t it will send the packet continuously and meanwhile we can do the router configuration so what i will do i will take the cli of the router and here i am going to do the configuration if you want to change the font color here you can change also you can go here preference and here you can check the font size you can increase and here where is the white router ios background what background you need white we have and the router ios text is black color if you want to change this to blue color green color you can change and apply just i it done here let's see how it look so i when i click here you can see it is coming in the blue color your wish which color you want you can take how i taken you just go in the option preference and then fonts and change here i change this as a blue if you want what color you need you can select here whatever colors available here you can select here so before we have black now i taken which i taken blue if you want red take red and apply then when you click it will come in the red color your wish which color you like i think we can use blue blue will be more or we can use the black same we have just i am showing because some students are asking me how uh, you are changing the font color so i shown you here okay now what i will do i will go here i will do the configuration i will write no and then enable config t then i will change the name of the router as r1 then i will go to interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will assign the ip address what ip we plan 192.168.10.100 give it space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shirt so this way i assign to one interface i have another interface fast ethernet 0 by 1 so i will go there i will write here ip address what ip we plan 192 168 20 dot sorry 20 dot 100 give space 255.255.255.0 and write here no shirt and if you want to save the configuration write wr do wr or go here exit and write wr to save the configuration now you can check before it is not working now it should work but here if you see stp is working it will take some time after that it will start working stp is a spanning tree protocol which is remove the loop from the network so they are just doing the calculation they will take listening learning and they will wait for some time after that it will start working okay so meanwhile if you see here where we put the here you can see request timeout still it is coming request timeout but now everything is green so you will communication will start now okay see here communication now is started here now it is working before it is not working so how we fix the issue we fix the issue by using the router so what we can say we use the router to fix to fix issue how we fix the issue we fix the issue by using the router we can say router is used to make the communication between two different network in your own words you can define two different network whatever you want to write you can write now i am saying router is a device which is used to make the communication between two different network a router is a device which is used to connect the lan to wan we can say that one also but now we are doing everything in the lan so in this scenario this is the lan only from here to here here everything is lan because we are not connecting to wan imagine you are, this is your small organization later you taken the connection from the isp so this is the isp cable will connect to your router and this is the isp router so how we can do the how we can give the internet connection we are going to learn in our next class here we are going to apply the acl to select the traffic then we are going to configure the net and we are going to configure the default route towards the isp in our next class we are going to learn that one how we can make our internal pc to access the internet 
okay we are going to learn in our next class i hope it is clear in case if you face any issue whatsapp us or join our telegram